Hey, student success. Welcome to week 12 of our semester. We are right there at the finish line. So another plug for your workshop assignment. Make sure that you register and get that turned in. Make sure you watch that video if you get, if you're not 100% sure where to go, what to do for that. All right. So let's go all the way down here. Week 12. This is chapter six continued. So I'm just going to kind of copy the chapter six lecture video from last week. Chapter six was in week 11. So there's no new lecture video. This is just going to be kind of a refresher if you need to watch that. So there is no discussion forum this week. You have two assignments instead. Both of those will be the basis of your weekly attendance. So you need to post those both by Sunday. So if you only turn in one, it's 50% attendance. So just make sure you turn in both. You'll get your assignment points and then you'll get your attendance points. So just kind of be aware of that. All right, so let's take a look. Chapter six assignment. There are three parts to this. So please make sure you do all three parts. The first part is read the attached article. So we're going to just click on this. It's going to open up. The article itself is fairly short. If you look, I mean, the first page is basically just that picture. And then you have two pages of text to read. Okay, so you're going to read that article first. Second, choose one of the verbs in this box or two, like if you wanted to do compare and contrast, um, list and clarify. So I mean, you can do that if you want, but you only need to choose one. I just know sometimes some of these go together. And then you're going to write a short essay question. So if you remember, we've recently talked about kind of different test taking and, and how to prepare and, and look at those different modalities of tests. You're going to write an essay question, a short essay question. And then third, you're going to answer your own question. So you're going to put yourself in the shoes of someone who would be creating a test based off of this article using one or two of these verbs. And then you're going to answer that question. So to submit your assignment, basically you're just going to click on the name of the assignment. It's going to repopulate this so you don't have to like click back and forth. You're going to create, <laughs> click create submission. And then, you know, put your question there, compare, contrast, justify, analyze, whatever question you're going to use. And then answer it in three to five complete sentences. So you're really kind of looking at the, the assessment process from both perspectives, the creator of the assessment, and then the, the one who has to actually complete the assessment. Okay, so again, read the article, create an essay question, utilizing one of these verbs. And if I'm not clear, it's based off of this article. So your question is not just a very general compare and contrast dogs. I don't know that was really random, but I've seen some random questions on here before. Your question is based off of this article. So that's why you have to read it first and then come up with a question that is going to have the answer kind of embedded through reading this article. So it has to have something to do with this article, you know, justify something as it relates to the article, analyze, and then respond to your question in three to five complete sentences. And then you'll hit submit. Okay, so that's your first assignment. Your second assignment, it looks like two assignments, but it's really one. You're going to take this real quick test your memory. I'm not gonna, I'm gonna run it, but I'm not gonna let it run all the way through. Because basically it says, hey, you're gonna test your memory. When you hit next, it's going to give you a uh, slide, a page of words. It's gonna give you like 30 seconds. And then it's gonna take you to the next slide and you're gonna have to like highlight which words were there. So it is just kind of testing your memory. It's going through to see how much you remember. And then this is what I'm going to see. I'm not going to see how you did up here. I'm going to see this. So you're going to click in here and again, create submission. There are three questions. So one, two, three. how many words were you able to remember? I don't, let's say you remembered. I remembered eight words. Which words did you forget? I forgot. And then whatever words you forgot. What technique did you use? Like, did you use repeated? Did you like repeat things over and over? Did you come up with a song or an acrostic or a, mnemon a mnemonic device? Uh, did you try to visualize? Did you cluster? Like what kind of strategy did you use? And then just go ahead and hit submit. All right, so that's really it for this week. You are creating your, first you're reading the article, creating the essay question and answering the question. And then you're taking the little test your memory exercise and answering those three questions that go along with it. If you need anything, reach out. Have a great week.